Welcome to this Windows and Computers channel and uh, today of course is Patch Tuesday. I posted a video about the security flaws. Now one of the questions that came to mind is yeah today's Patch Tuesday. What effect does it have on um, maybe bug fixes because we know that cumulative updates in uh, Windows 10 also include bug fixes at the same time as the security flaws. So Okay, uh, you know, there's various little issues with Windows 10 April 2018 update that people report. So here's what Microsoft says are some of the improvements, what they call quality improvements. So there's um, a few little things that happens for uh, Windows Server, Windows Guidance, and stuff like that. Um, there's the fix for QuickBooks. Um, for those that watch my videos you might have noticed that I did quickly talk about an update there was a manual update that fixed uh, the QuickBooks crash now it's included in this cumulative update so if you have QuickBooks this is fixed uh, they add support for same site cookie web standard for Edge and Internet Explorer they address an issue where Internet Explorer uh, that prevents it from using an updated version of local services uh, addresses issue that causes certain games to fail to show dialogues when connected to monitors that support interlaced display formats. They fixed issues with brightness control in some laptops. Some of you have reported this on my channel, saying, "Hey, I got some. Um, you know, I can't, I can't change the brightness of my laptop's display since I've upgraded. So you should have a fix for that now." They are fixing reliability issues with the game bar. It may fail to launch for some uh, BitLocker things that are actually uh, being fixed. So um, they um, are playing around with that. An issue, uh, they are fixing an issue where the system, um, what, that causes the system to start up to a black screen. The issue occurs because previous updates on the Spring Creators updates were incompatible with the specific versions of PC tune-up utilities after install. So um, apparently there's something in there. And that's pretty much what they say as to what it fixes. Um, if you have problems with Windows 10 April 2018 update, uh, some of you do, a lot of you don't. Uh, you, you know from the comments that I heard from the videos yesterday, I do have a lot of people that say, hey, I don't have any issues. I gotta say, apart from my mail app that crashed and then reinstalled, since I clean install, things are going really well, and my, my PC is so fast, I'm just amazed. Um, but if you do have issues, check it out. This fixes a certain number of issues. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised because, you know, there's this new schedule now where you know, updates can appear anywhere. So I wouldn't be surprised there's some other April, you know, some other update this month uh, of June for Windows 10 um, April 2018 update because... Uh, they might be working on fixes for other issues. Uh, you know, Microsoft just kind of says really nothing about any problems or issues, but then again, maybe because they don't want to talk about it. So uh, check it out. Um, if you had issues, if you had problems, um, and you installed this update and it fixed whatever problem you had, uh, why not comment in the uh, description below the video? Let me know that, um, you know, whatever you had as an issue, is finally fixed since this update is here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.